everybody, it's Dr. Joe, and today I'm going to show you some physical therapy stretches for knee pain. So let's get started. Disclaimer alert! Disclaimer alert! So for knee pain, a lot of times the muscles that cross the knee joint are the ones that are causing the pain. So your calf muscles, your quad muscles, your IT band, your hamstrings, and then even your hip flexors, even though it doesn't cross the joint, tend to cause a lot of problems. So we're going to stretch all of those out. We're going to start with the calf. The calf is a pretty easy one to stretch. You can do it in a whole bunch of different ways. I'm just going to show you when you're sitting down. I like to put a little roll or roll up a towel and put it just underneath the, the leg so your, so your heel can move because you can do it flat on the ground but you're going to get a little bit better stretch if that heel's not touching because then it gets a little bit more movement in the ankle. Then you're just going to take a, a strap or if you don't have a stretch strap, you can use a dog leash, you can use a belt, but you want it to be something firm. So not the resistive band, something that's not really going to give. I like these just because they have the loops in them. So what you're going to do is just put it about at the ball of your foot. You don't want it too low because you're not going to get a good stretch and you don't want it high up on your toes because then it might slip off and hit you. So just relax your leg. You're going to let the strap do all the work and then you're just going to pull your foot towards you this way and you should feel that stretch in your calf muscle right in there and sometimes people feel it right underneath their knee and that's because those calf muscles those tendons cross at that knee joint so that's why it's so important to stretch and that's why sometimes people feel it under their knee versus in here so with the stretch you want to hold it for about 30 seconds and you want it to be slightly uncomfortable but not painful you know stretching shouldn't hurt but it shouldn't really feel good either so it's that kind of combination of hurt so good kind of feeling so then take a little break and then you're going to do that a total of three times so 30 seconds holding that three times but it's really that foot is relaxed you're not actively pulling it towards you you're pulling it towards you with the strap so then we're going to go into a hamstring stretch. And again, there's a whole bunch of ways to stretch the hamstrings. I've got a couple other videos that show different ways to do it. But I like the one lying down because then your back is supported and you don't have to worry about keeping your back straight. So what I'm going to do is just kind of lie down and I'm going to take the strap now and just again put it at my foot. But it doesn't have to be at the ball of the foot this time. I like to kind of prop up the other side just because that takes pressure off your back. And then you're just going to again relax that leg the strap is going to do all the work and you're just going to pull your leg up try and keep your knee as straight as you can if you're starting to do this then and that hamstring is really really tight then bring it back down and try and straighten out the knee you want to keep that knee as straight as you can and then just come up as far as you can if you're having knee pain you're probably not going to be able to come up as far as i am so even if you're right here that's fine but again try and hold that stretch for about 30 seconds if you want to activate the calf as well you can pull your toes towards you but if you really just want to focus on those hamstrings just kind of let that foot relax and use that strap to pull it up and this time you should kind of feel that stretch here again sometimes people feel it in the back of the knee because those hamstrings cross the knee joint the other way and the hamstrings come all the way up and attach up here so you might feel it here you might feel it here and you might feel it there so again holding it for 30 seconds doing it three times and you can do this a couple times a day so then we're going to do the IT band so the IT band is the same concept where it comes all the way up and attaches at the hip up here and then crosses that knee joint so if it's tight it's putting pressure on that knee joint causing knee pain so it's very similar to the hamstring stretch up so this time when you come up you're keeping that leg straight now you're just going to go till you feel a little bit of tension and then you're going to cross it across your body so sometimes people like to put the other leg straight out so the knee doesn't get in the way and that's okay as long as it's not hurting your back but again you want to keep that leg as straight as you can you don't want that knee to be bent because then you're not stretching that it band anymore so keeping it straight and then just drop it across your body until you feel a stretch through here. Sometimes people kind of feel it in the bottom area there. Sometimes people feel it on the outside of the knee. Sometimes people feel it in the middle. So just depending on where your tightness is, that's where you're gonna feel it. And again, if this one isn't the best for you, I have a video just for a whole bunch of different IT band stretches and you can just find the one that's best for you. You don't have to do a particular you know, one just because I'm doing it. You do the one that feels like you're getting the best stretch for that. So again, 30 seconds, three times for that. 
So now we're going to go into a quad stretch. I'm going to switch legs because you're going to roll over onto your stomach and I just want you to be able to see what I'm doing here. So this time the strap is going to go all the way up around the ankle. So you're just going to kind of put it here and, and having something that's a little bit longer works best because you want to kind of wrap it around your shoulder. And the reason for that is because you want the upper part of your body to be pretty relaxed. You can prop up like this or you can lie all the way down because you don't want to end up hurting something else by doing the stretch. So just take the strap kind of around your shoulder and start pulling and try and bring your heel towards your bottom as much as you can. So again, if your knee is really hurting, you might only be able to get to here and that's okay. You don't have to get that heel all the way towards your bottom, but you want to go as far as you comfortably can until you can tolerate it. Again, the stretching should be slightly uncomfortable, but it shouldn't be so painful that you can't hold it for 30 seconds. So again, holding that 30 seconds, doing that three times. This time you should feel that stretch in the front of your leg. And again, sometimes people feel it at the knee. Sometimes people feel it in the knee joint itself if you have some tightness in that joint versus in the muscles. But this is a great stretch for that as well. And then the last one is going to be for your hip flexors. Now the hip flexors don't cross the knee joint, but a lot of times if they're tight, you're kind of leaning forward and then you have to kind of bend your knees to kind of even yourself out. So if they're tight, they can cause pain all the way down the chain. So I think they're really important to stretch out as well. So again, there's a couple ways you can stretch it out. One of my favorites is to kind of getting into a lunge position. Make sure that you're protecting your knee because if you're in the lunge position, your knee is going to be on the floor. So when you come up into the lunge position, make sure and put that pillow underneath the knee that you're going to be leaning on. So the knee that's going to be down is going to be the side that you're stretching. And then you're just going to kind of come up into a lunge position. And what you want to do is keep your upper body upright. So a lot of times people kind of try and stretch like this, but I'm still not stretching my hip flexor if I'm leaning forward. So keep your upper body upright and then push your hips forward and you should feel a stretch right through there. And that's in that hip flexor area. So again, this stretch is just a 30 second stretch doing that three times. So once you get all of those stretched out, your knee should feel a little more loosened up and then some of that pain should get out of there. So those were your physical therapy stretches for knee pain. I want to give a quick shout out to my wall of thanks. So I want to thank Jazz C, Andy R, Mark, and Will R. If you're interested in being on the wall of thanks, make sure and check out my Patreon page by clicking on up there. And don't forget to subscribe by clicking down there. And remember, be safe, keep that knee loose. Have fun, and I hope you feel better soon.